Hey guys, Coach Rob here. Uh, we're talking about the training app web account or web portal for you. Um, hopefully you've already seen the dashboard training um, because that's the page we're on. You know how to log on to the app. You may have already seen a couple of the other pages that we have for training plans, meal plans, your calendar and messaging. This video is about uh, getting into your account details on the web app. Um, so once you're on your dashboard or in your account, down here on the lower left, it says my account. If you click on that, there we go. It comes up into your, your profile on setup. So there's a couple of different pages here available. So first it's the profile page where it's your email, your phone number, your Skype ID, where you are physically and being a, a remote online program. This, this is all really important for us to have. What your birth date is, what your height is, your gender, and your time zone. This is really important. Um, so if it's not correct, you definitely need to go in. You need to click edit over here in the upper right and update the information to be accurate um, because your time zone is specific to your workouts and your messages and, and whatnot, and it can really goof things up. For instance, at different time zones for somebody over in uh, maybe Thailand, if you record a workout on Wednesday, I'm actually seeing that you did it on Tuesday. Some programs that matters. Your payment information page um, is the next link. This is the way you can update your payment information and uh, see what's going on on that level. <clears throat> so here, you know, basically it's, this is what I see also, but from here you can uh, update your payment information. Um, units, it's, uh, I, I don't anticipate anybody would need to see this, but you get to see how you see what your weights are your distance and uh, body stats. These are all you know standard pounds, miles, inches. You get to identify some of your notifications here and you get to identify all your notifications in the, um, the mobile application. So um, if you're, especially if you want really uh, interested in getting or controlling the messages you get, this is where you need to go look. Um, and this is the way I have it set up. This isn't the way I recommend that you have it set up, but I'm my own coach, um, so I don't need to be getting information and, and different things, but um, new private messages, I, I have no alerts, payment, trainer updates, my account. I have these off because I, I know when I'm doing them. What I recommend for you guys, please, new private message, either have it in the app or in the app and email. For my coaching account, I have it in the app and on email because it's a priority that I get those that information and I can respond back to you if you don't want it in the email as a backup please have it on your app um, so that you can get that information for payment information I want double notice so whenever my payment goes through I have the app notify me that it happened and I also get an email letting me know that way I can save the email put it in my directory do for taxes or whatever like that trainer updates my account again I really like uh, clients to have one of these two identified based on how you like to be communicated with either in the app or in the app with email that lets you know when Shannon or I go into your training account and we update it in some manner whether we update your calendar update your training plan change something out change your workout summary but that lets you know hey something's new go look at it um, group notifications like over here you can set your individual new group notifications under groups. Um, when we go on the video that goes into messages and groups, well, I'll show you that. So we're not gonna get into that now. And then email summary, scheduled workout reminders. I have that on because when you schedule a workout on your calendar, this is gonna send you an email the night before and say, remember to do your workout. Um, and again, on the video that goes through the calendar, I show you how to schedule your calendar on the web app. Um, which is important. So again, the key to online training is, um, well, the first key is, is good communications, me to you and you to me. And this is part of you receiving the information that we post out there. If you have these set to where you're not going to get them, um, unfortunately, time might pass between our communications to you and you might miss some information that is pretty important or uh, value to uh, and, and timely. So please have these set the best way to get to you. If you have any questions, message us and ask us some questions. Otherwise, um, this covers it except for change password and that's a standard change password approach. But 
that's your uh, account information. All pretty basic. The uh, training, the mobile app actually has quite a bit more, so make sure you look at the mobile app information also. Thank you, and um, this is profile settings on the web.